Hey friends, welcome back to Channeling Chinez. In the previous reading, we looked at Drake's full energy read where I broke down what is currently in the mind, body, and soul space of Drake. And now we are going to be looking at his connection, friendship, relationship with Millie Bobby Brown. Millie Bobby Brown is a 17-year-old actress. Some people have expressed concern over her and her connection or her relationship with Drake, who is, I think, in his mid-30s. And so we are going to be looking at this friendship, um, this connection, and see if we can see any shadow energy. What is really going on between this tie between two unlikely individuals? So I'm going to do a top row of Drake's energy toward Millie Bobby Brown and a bottom row of Millie's energy uh, in relationship with Drake. This is for Drake and Millie Bobby Brown, and we are going to be looking at their friendship, their relationship. Um, any connection that you have with another individual is a relationship. Um, I'm going to point that out, as I am not suggesting that they are romantically connected. Um, as Millie Bobby Brown, I believe, is only 17 years old at this time. She might be 18, I'm not sure, but um, still very young and... We are going to be looking at how her energy and Drake's energies meet and, and what is connecting the two. I'm going to shuffle this real. We're going to be looking at Drake and Millie Bobby Brown. shuffle in between but whoop, this one needs to be shuffled very well we're looking at Drake I feel the need to leave that we're looking at Drake and Millie Bobby Brown Okay, I'm gonna leave that one as well. Break and Millie Bobby Brown. These are the two jumper cars. I'm going to pull this down out of the way for a second. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. So right away, what jumps out at me is the Princess of Swords or the Page of Swords. So toward Millie Bobby Brown Drake, there is a part of him that is still very immature. This came out in the previous reading and this is how he's coming in in this reading. And it's almost like there is a part of his own childhood that he's almost seeking to heal in this relationship with Millie Bobby Brown, um, with the star coming in in the middle and the world. This connection or this relationship or friendship that they have between the two of each other is karmic. 
um, it's karmic in nature in that whatever 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 the energy exchange is that's happening be between them has everything to do with inner child and healing there's something really really painful from drake's history that he is either seeking to heal through projecting through or sees within his connection with Millie Bobby Brown. So we have the Six of Cups in reverse and the Five of Cups. This is saying that there is some pain from childhood. And there is also some distortion with the way that he views Millie in that either he sees himself or... Hmm. Yeah, it's like there is something that either she is experiencing, has experienced, might experience within her field that he experienced or is experiencing or did experience <laughs> at that age. And he's almost like um, processing, processing that through his relationship with her. So we're going to go deeper into what that looks like. But let's look at Millie. So the way that Millie views Drake as the Knight of Pentacles, um, there's a little idolization here. Like there's a little, there's a, there, she sort of idolizes him in a way and almost feels like motivated by her connection with him. It makes her want to move differently in her career, in entertainment. It makes her um, want to make certain changes within herself. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, so with the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Wands, there's a crush, at least on her end, that I can see. There, there, There's a little bit of a crush. There's a little bit of like... You know, I, uh, forbidden fruit kind of deal where she kind of idolizes him and looks up to him and looks to him for advice, but at the same time is also like seeking a little bit of validation. Um, it feels like through her connection with him. Let's go deeper into that. What? What is the energy between them? What is being felt between them? now I'm curious to see what these jumpers are okay the three of wands ah uh, okay and the nine okay so <sighs> this is coming through as Drake this is coming through as Millie Bobby Brown I don't get good vibes from these six cards that are in front of me. There is a part of this relationship for Drake that he's aware um, should not be happening. I don't know what it is. Um, he seems to be very... Um, like there seems to be a little bit of like obsessed energy. Like he can be kind of fixated 
about her sometimes. Um, and he feels like, well, my hands are tied. Like, I want to do one thing, um, but I know that I shouldn't do that thing. Or um, I want to be one way towards her, but uh, I'm just sort of like with the two of swords in reverse. Like my hands, my hands are tied. That's kind of how it comes across. But the energy just feels like, mm, like a little, like a little too fixated, a little too fixated, a little too worried about it, a little too. Mm. And on her end, she's actually a very smart girl, but she's in a time in her life where emotions run really high and like I said before she sort of idolizes him and sort of kind of looks at him as like all knowing like of course he knows what's best for her of course he knows of course whatever he is saying must be true and then she sits with herself by herself and she sort of feels a little not not depressed but concerned like there is a level of concern where she is like believing one thing that he is saying or doing but feeling a completely different way and sort of maybe fighting with herself um, about what should or shouldn't be happening. Hmm. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the hermit in reverse. So there is something about this connection between the two of them that is isolating. It's like a bubble that this relationship exists in, a vacuum. And all of the good things, bad things, right things, wrong things only exist in the vacuum that is their relationship. And it isolates the two of them because it's like they can't, they can't, they don't, they're not interested really in sharing what is actually happening. Like even the energy as I sit here and read to you is like not that interested in like divulging too deep because there's 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 immaturity here but there's a lot of childhood wounds um being activated in this connection and it's karmic wow this is one of the most interesting readings I have done so far um but it feels very karmic very isolating I don't get the best vibes. I don't get the worst um, just yet. I don't think that, um, I don't get uh, like a malicious intent with this reading. I get a misguided, misguided. It feels just misguided. And that certain things are not balanced um, and that both of them will have to heal within or from or after this connection and the healing will happen separately please let me know what you thought of this reading in the comments give me a thumbs up if it was interesting to you let me know what you would like to see next here on channeling chinez and you saw <clears throat> excuse me and you can also connect with me on tiktok and instagram all the links for my social media are in the description box below and i will see you all next time